Hi, I'm Judd Eads with Adrenaline Industries. I'm excited to show you this vehicle we got. This is a 1986 Hensgauer, a very rare diesel one. Let's go check it out. So some of the history with this, there's not very many of these in the US, they're hard to come by, is uh, it was on a ranch in Colorado, very nice high-end ranch, and they used it as a hunting rig. So it had kind of a weird platform on the front of it. It had four seats in the back that were on uh, swivels so that you could shoot out the window, I'm assuming. And it also, it was, the base vehicle was kind of an army green and it had a camo wrap on it. So we decided to uh, do all the body work. We pulled the wrap off, had it blasted, and then painted it this kind of really cool, um, kind of a flat metallic silver color that uh, I thought just was a really good choice for this type of vehicle. And then we've also, you know, bedlined everything. Uh, it's in great shape. This is a very good vehicle that I wouldn't hesitate driving anywhere. We've actually, uh, out of, I mean, we don't keep a lot of vehicles very long and we've had this one four years. And the only reason we're selling it is we have a different version that we're putting together of a different type of a vehicle. Uh, so we're gonna let this one go, but it's in just perfect shape. And there, it, needs, it needs nothing. And the great thing about this is a lot of these uh, older kind of military, ex-military vehicles that we've had in the past, sometimes they're just not comfortable. I mean, they're really cool and people love them. And on a 60 degree day, you go out and cruise in it, it's, it's fine. But this one, you can daily drive. We've done some things to this to make it so it's comfortable in hot or cold weather. And it also goes 75 miles an hour. It cruises right down the highway. It makes it just a joy to drive. Whoever ends up buying this is gonna absolutely love it. You'll notice here on the Pinsgauer that an auxiliary cooling fan's been added. So this thing never gets warm, even on the hottest days. And uh, that can be controlled by a switch. It also has a thermostat in it to, to turn it on. So uh, sometimes these Pinsgauer have been known to run a little warm on a hot summer day in the United States. This one will not run warm. It stays right at the perfect temperature with that fan, that auxiliary fan there. We also added this massive uh, custom bumper to it. It's uh, thick steel, it's all been powder coated to try and keep the rust off of it for years to come. It, it, it came with this uh, worn 12,000 uh, pound winch that the previous owner put on there. I added a synthetic winch line to it and also some really high end ultra hook uh, little candy there. Uh, that, that just It's the best stuff if you're actually using the winch. Has a tree cage on it, 20 inch light bar down here that's, that's slightly curved. 50 inch light bar above. And then those were already on it when I bought it. I think for they used it for hunting. Those are very expensive lights that actually are controlled from inside, passenger or driver, 360 degree swivel that you can uh, you know, spotlight anything you want on it. Okay, moving around the side here. These normally come with a canvas soft top. And the canvas soft top, you know, is, is decent under certain applications, but this one already had an air conditioner added to it. So the previous owner did all this stuff. Uh, when we painted it, we bedlined it just to make sure the roof was extra protected. And uh, then it uh, just made it so you could, it's actually really quiet inside that cab, especially when we go inside and show you how much sound deadening we added to it. If I move across here, you can see that we had all this uh, cleaned and bedlined. We have a 33 gallon fuel, diesel fuel tank here. And then also another kind of exciting thing about this is these are actually Hutchinson beadlock wheels. So very uh, nice upgrade to this Pinsgauer is that all six wheels, we got those nice Hutchinsons all the way around. We added this, uh, previous owner already had these windows, these slider windows in there. Uh, when, we, when we restored it, we also had a really thick uh, undercarriage coating put on to kind of protect it. We use it a lot as a ski rig. We put friends and family in there. You'll see in a minute that we added some ski boxes to the sides that can be removed. And so I wanted to protect it from the salt and things that you have when you go up to a ski resort. So that's why we put extra detail into the undercoating under this truck. Here on the back, we got a 20 inch light bar, a backup camera, and we also have this uh, custom cut down amp step to make getting into the rear a lot easier. On the driver's side here, we have a straight piped exhaust. The factory exhaust kind of made it sound like a sewing machine and obviously we can't have that. So we straight piped it thinking that we would have to add a muffler, but the noise is magic. Like from the outside, it's rowdy. 
it uh, sounds like you hoped it would sound, but internally, both in the box or in the front, you don't really notice it much at all. So the exhaust sounds just perfect now. In here, we've got uh, two 12 volt deep cycle batteries, AGMs, and those run the air conditioner and a few of the 12 volt accessories that we've added. And then these here, we got two 12 volts that are tied together to make 24 volt for the chassis. You have shore power here. If for any reason you were somewhere near you had power, uh, if you wanted to bring a small generator or something so that you could keep run the air conditioner without the truck running as an option. So that's there. Okay, now let's check out the inside. One of the biggest things we did is this one was already quieter than the gas version from the 70s, but we added a ton of sound deadening and heat shield to what was already in there. So we've added it in the doors, under the floor beds, under the seats, up the back walls, the entire roof, and all around the doghouse. And also around the doghouse, not only with the sound deadening, we also added heat shield to really try and keep the temperature inside of there cool in the summer so the air conditioner was more efficient. We put in here these low profile Corbo racing seats. We, even though they're low profile, they're still very comfortable. They're an all day seat, uh, very nice to drive in. We uh, kept the original speedometer in kilometers so that your odometer, which is 64,000 kilometers right now, is we also added a digital GPS miles per hour that uh, we had a custom 3D printed kind of adrenaline console made to cover that up. But that way, if anyone ever wanted to verify, we could keep it original by having the original underneath it. We added the backup camera in here and monitor. You have the different adjustments for running these 360 degree spotlights. You also have the controls for all your spotlights overhead, your inverter, and an unbelievable sound system. It's uh, louder than you would ever want to turn it up to that volume, but it's kind of the party truck. My kids have used this for their school dances. 14 people, I mean, that's pretty cool. You put 14 people in here. The kids can control it uh, via Bluetooth from the, there's a fr front console and a rear console. So the kids in the back can sync it to their phone uh, pretty instantly and run their own tunes. Hey, as you'll see underneath this uh, custom cover we had made, there's the brains. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. Uh, one of the things we have in there is a Soundstream 5-channel amp, it's 2,000 watt. You also have the main battery shutoffs, both 1 and 2. Uh, we have it so the truck can run off a set of batteries, and that way you always have a second set in case you're in an emergency. The winch controller, like the main power to the winch, and then also you can separate your 12 volt, and you can kill that with the main battery switch as well. We also have underneath here a Busman 100 amp 24 to 12 volt battery balancer. Here in between the seats, we have a Ames Power 4,000 watt, 24 volt inverter charger uh, to run the air conditioner. That thing's a monster and it works just fine. And then, uh, this is cool. This little vehicle will climb a tree. So here you have in the center to put it into six by six mode because your back two axles are always live. Then you can do the front locker here and lock up both rear axles. So it's a true six by six. Overhead is where you can turn on your inverter. Here's your controller, switch the lights on, digital joystick there. You've got uh, some lights in here. We also have them switched to red, so anyway, you can kind of put it in night mode. You have uh, all your switches here that uh, just run your lights, and there's a fan in the back, a bunch of different accessories you can run from that. And then the air conditioner, your whole air conditioning system actually has a regular thermostat like you'd see in an RV. So you can set the temperature there, you can set the fan speed to high or low, and then of course our backup camera up here above. Let me show you here what we've done to the doghouse. So it's got this cover here that's insulated, but then we've also added this dynamat here, as well as underneath is the heat shield. So you have uh, both of those, makes it very quiet in here, and also keeps the heat down in the summer from the doghouse. Another thing that was important to add was dual 24 volt high output alternators to be able to charge all the electrical stuff that we have going on in this. I'm gonna show you now the back of the party bus. So back here we had PRP make us some custom seats. 
that would fit in here so we could put 12 passengers here in the back. We also added some thick mat. It's actually the kind of the, what they put under the AstroTurf in the football stadiums. Uh, just adds a little comfort back here. We've, it was already insulated, but then we've dynamated and then upholstered the whole interior back here, the roof and, the, and things. You have the four speak kicker speakers here in the back, plus the two 10 inch subwoofers uh, there at the front. And then also in the, in the cab, you've got two six and a half inch uh, speakers up there as well. So this is where the fun's really at. Everyone loves wanting to ride in the back. No one ever wants to ride up me with me in the front. But 12 people in here, seat belted in. And then you also have your air conditioner that blows back through here to control the temperature for when it's hot in the summer. And then we added a diesel heater uh, that just will cook you out of here if you want to. You could cook some bread down here on the bottom if you so desired. But it just is very comfortable back here. And this is where you want to be. In addition to what, it's, what was already insulated, we added more insulation and our own custom upholstery. We also added these uh, custom uh, close racks or so you can hang bags or whatever you want up above we use this as a ski truck so it made sense we want to put 12 people in here we had to hang our duffel bags and ski bags and stuff so we put in those heavy duty racks that are modular you also have plenty of vents you have an automatic fan you can control from the front you hit it and open up a, if you want a little venting back added some led lights you also have a roof hatch that was added in there from the previous owner uh, to access the roof or to hang out up top if you're in a parade or something like that to wave to people uh, this is really fun back here. Just to be really transparent, this is a very clean vehicle, but I want to point out anything that I just feel is not quite perfect. And so even though it's a composite box, there's a little bit blistering here on, on some of the paint we did. I don't know if it's because this is some steel part here that's kind of uh, made that pop a little bit. Around your windows, like the gasket, I mean, everything seals, nothing leaks, but you kind of can see that a little weathering there. When we had the ski boxes on, we opened it one time and, and uh, before we put the uh, stop on it and it got a little dent right there. Again, here you'll see a little bit more blistering just, just around that stop that, that holds the door in place when you open the door. There's a tiny bit of, um, like over here, we have a little bit of kind of surface rust that's uh, popping up just in this area right here. So other than that, this thing's really clean, but I just wanted to point out anything that uh, I didn't feel was perfect. Now it's time to hear this thing start up. This has been great, even though it's a late 80s diesel, even on a cold winter day, it might crank a few more times, but it will always start. And uh, on a normal day like today, it will fire right up. It's got glow plugs. We'll let the glow plugs heat up here. Every time. I'm a little sad to see this one go. It's a tremendous vehicle. It works like you hope it would. It's got no issues at all, no oil leaks. It's got the power that some military vehicles don't have to make it so you can cruise down the highway at highway speeds and keep up with traffic and even past, past traffic. Bid with confidence is a solid truck, it needs nothing. And it's the only one in the world. I mean, Pinsgauers are rare anyway in the United States, but a Pinsgauer built to this level doesn't exist. So we'll see you on the next one. And if you have any questions, visit us at adrenalinind.com.